it's not normal what's happening with the prices now in the construction industry like the wood and the metal prices are like going insane and i think of making a video about what's a substitute what can we change these materials and it should be a material that everybody can use from australia from sydney from maybe india like everybody and we can afford it so probably i will be like an old radio here repeating it all <laughs> all over again and again and again it's ferroprit the material it's invented by the german in the world war they made ships basically sailboats and ships out of it and what's the catch basically the catch is the following and stay with me for a second because you say oh i don't want a house like that i will tell you how they messed it up I mean in the real estate industry or like in construction sites and how to build it in the modern like luxury premium housing way. You can use it like plywood and you can make like prefabricated parts of it and you can put it on your facade and that's it. That's simple. And the extraordinary great part in it that I love, that I love and I know I didn't invent the wheel, it's not a new idea but I want to hammer it over and over again like use it like plywood or use it like something like that in the exterior of the building because it resists water, it won't mold like rats, rodents, ants, nothing, nothing will even touch it, it will like resist billions of years okay I'm exaggerating here and it costs barely nothing and basically the material is the most well-known material however, however, before I tell you, because everybody knows that material the accent it's not on the <laughs> not the material itself but how we use it so basically we have to reimagine concrete and I will show you yeah yeah you hear that right it's concrete however stay with me for a second we will use a tenth of it yeah if we needed that much concrete like the thickness we will use an inch two and a half centimeters that's it and basically the whole building will be like way lighter it will be like way 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 cheaper and if you're like <laughs> in the sustainable houses the houses that basically try to avoid concrete then then this video is made for you basically because we'll use maybe less than tenth of it on the overall there's hempcrete i know about them and i know about them quite well however this video is particularly in case we need to use concrete how to use it to save a lot of money and energy and resources and make it in a sustainable energy efficient way like this video is mainly dedicated for the off-the-grid houses or for the persons who want to build a house that sustains itself because it's not just about the concrete it's about how about the layering of it so basically the video has two parts one it's on the engineering part on the micro level like what happens with the facade and the other part it's about how to integrate in the house because it's totally different we can't get like a totally different result if you don't if you don't use like a totally different method here so probably i will be like an old radio here repeating it all <laughs> all over again and again and again it's ferroprit the material it's invented by the german in the world war they made ships basically sailboats and ships out of it imagine like a one inch like two and a half centimeters concrete and you have like several layers of chicken wire in it and what's the catch basically the catch is the following and stay with me for a second because you say oh i don't want a house like that i will tell you how they messed it up I mean in the real estate industry or like in construction sites and how to build it in the modern like luxury premium housing way concrete is basically indestructible its own death like the only thing that you can call like that you can kill concrete it's like the cracking and they solved it simple basically they put the chicken wire in it and that stops the cracking and if you think about it if you make ferropit i don't have to show like pictures with it it's concrete it's looking like concrete there's absolutely no difference however you have like the chicken wire in it and it's like one inch thick so i don't i don't have anything to show here in particular because everybody knows what it is so basically the catch is here 
you can use it like plywood and you can make like prefabricated parts of it and you can put it on your facade and that's it that's simple and the extraordinary great part in it that I love, that I love, and I know I didn't invent the wheel, it's not a new idea, but I want to hammer it over and over again, like use it like plywood, or use it like something like that in the exterior of the building, because it resists water, it won't mold, like rats, rodents, ants, nothing, nothing will even touch it, it will like resist billions of years, okay, I'm exaggerating here, and it costs barely nothing. It's better than a 20 centimeter concrete or like a 20 or 30 centimeter other things. So basically that's the way to use it. Like that's a section with the house, like the purple is the house itself. And basically you have like a fast facade in front of your house. That means if you're like really sunny or it's like uh, wind, that means the facade it's not near your house. There's like a four inch or like five inch, like a 10, 15 centimeter gap. And I highly recommend till now, I said, oh, you should use for the fast facade, like wood, or you should use for the fast facade, like whatever material you want. However, I think one of the best, it's like concrete, like ferro kit, like a two and a half centimeter layer. Because if you think about it, when it's like really sunny, then all of the sun will heat up your concrete, but not to your walls. And because you have like a moving space, like a moving air between your insulation and between your house itself, that means all of the hot air will go out. And even in the winter, when it's windy, the house will be shaded from the wind. So all of the convection, basically the convection is more efficient uh, with the heat transfer with like the conduction and basically the fast facade, in our case the concrete sheets, will uh, provide a shelter for the house. I don't know if I've explained it right or it makes sense. And basically that material, the concrete, will keep the animals, will keep the burglars and like everybody kind of outside your house. And none of the animal likes it. <laughs> Maybe not even environmentalist. <laughs> That's like a video that I made a few years back. It was about uh, showing how to build like the simplest zero energy, like passive house or like an energy efficient house, putting like a big facade on the southern part, on the northern hemisphere, like actually not in Australia because there is like different. And the other part, then I made it from burned wood. However, burned wood now costs a fortune because you can't just buy wood, at least in Europe, like the prices are crazy now and in America as well. <laughs> so basically, now I'm not saying like, yeah, concrete, it's all in and I'm loving that material and it's like the most eco-friendly. However, if you think about it, if you use a tenth of it or even maybe less, then I think that's a good deal. So where we messed up with concrete? The problem is, in an energy efficient standpoint, is that that we use concrete in the outside, so basically the concrete gets access to the inside and the outside as well. And it conducts the heat, like the heat transfer is huge. So the optimal would be to not let the concrete in the inside and then the outside in the same time. And, there are, and that's the place where we mess it up. And look, I'm showing you on the image. Let's say here I put water in the middle of the wedding. For the thermal mass, I'm not getting into that now. And the red, it's concrete. So basically, the only place I have concrete or like rocks, it's in the middle of the building. And if you see here, I have the insulation. And we should do the same. See, look, I can't zoom it down now, but maybe, wait a bit, I'm trying. Okay, it totally messed up. So here I have the insulation, see the red, and I have like a a few inch like four or five inch gap between the insulation and the fast facade and that in our case now because like the price for the other materials are like crazy i highly advise you to make it from ferrocrete however however again like don't use in a don't make it in this place but make it like a prefab 
make it in the ground because there you don't need manual labor because the only big part like the only negative part with the ferrocrete except like the environmental friendliness is that you need workers there and the workers should apply the concrete and the chicken wire and it's like really hard and you have to have like a really good person that is like doing that for like years and for that you have to pay them and it's a lot however however if you pour it in the ground like basically if you know your house you know the <laughs> size of it you just start to pour modules on the ground and you put like as I mentioned like half a centimeter like half an inch of a concrete you put the chicken wire in it and afterwards you put the another layer so basically you wait a day and you will be able to put in its place and in like a month it will be like extremely extremely durable and that's it and I would highly advise you to do it that way so never ever ever use ferrocrete on its place when it's applied but do it like in a preferred way do it in a horizontal way not in a vertical way never because then if you pour it it will be like almost perfect from the start and you can leave it like that if you like one that look you can paint it or you can apply other things in it maybe maybe in time when you will start to have more money or or like the wood prices will go down you can apply wood on it it doesn't matter but for a start is great so basically having a house than not having a house it's a thousand thousand times better so that was the video for today basically on the channel i will talk about zero energy houses and here like a bonus imagine a house it was an example here on the southern part in the southern facade you have like a huge window so the sun is hitting the wall and here you have the super thick insulation like the gap you can't see it but there's like a big gap for the chimney effect basically the moving air and afterwards in our case we have the fast facade like the ferrocrete because now any other thing it's like extremely expensive so that's it that was today's video and probably in most of my videos i will talk about real estate energy efficient homes best real estate investments sustainable home constructions of grid house designs net zero energy houses net zero energy buildings and basically that and i will show you how to build premium luxury houses for basically less than a normal house that are way 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 more energy efficient so if you're like into that you might consider to subscribe to the channel and if you can please help me out like liking the video or commenting below what you liked in it what you didn't like in it what should i improve what i shouldn't what you liked about the information what i should add more about what i should add more or not so that was today's video and hopefully i will see you in the next video like that was it <laughs> bye bye